We have a road whose destination is Farvel, a separation between family and their son. That family sold almost everything they had, rented a car and began a painful and seemingly inevitable trip to northwest of Iran in order to help their older son to leave the country, illegally. Nobody explains us why he wants to leave. Perhaps in director's mind, leaving doesn't need to be explained. What needs explanation is a staying. An awful tragedy is covered by a delicate comedy which comes from family members' sense of humor. To forget the terrible situation, they know only one way. Laughing. The father, Khosro, has a specific role to calm others. He seems to be indifferent, but in fact he pretends to be indifferent. And with this trick makes the family joyful and hopeful, which they need most in this last gasp moment. A six-year-old kid apparently is a God's gift to these parents. He distracts them from missing their older son. This kid is a sign of purity and innocence among this elegant, perilous process. When he sees a stunning scenery, prostrates on the ground to thank God. How lovely this baby is. There is a startling scene between the father and the kid when the family has camped. The father lies on the ground in a sleeping bag which reminds us of astronaut's costume. Then the kid lies on his father's stomach. They are both looking at the sky and the stars, talking about Batman's car and his prize. Suddenly, it seems that a star falls near them on the ground. As they are talking together cheerfully, more stars are shining near them, and finally, in a fanciful manner, they are completely in the sky between stars. Now, an astronaut father who hugs his kid is wandering around the space. This was a unique fantasy which fully amazed me. Besides four main characters, there's one cyclist character who by accident joins the family for a few minutes. In the car, he talks about his career in his sport and names Armstrong as his role model. Then Khosro tells that Armstrong was doping and he was a dishonest man. The cyclist responds to him, even if we suppose Armstrong was dishonest, we won't be able to deny that he earned a lot of money. It's an important statement, which means the end justifies the means. This family somewhat does the same. They help their son to leave the country. The cheating, are they right? In the cyclist philosophy, yes, because we can pass our boundaries which are created in our mind by ourselves. While cyclist explains this, he is cunningly cheating other cyclists in the competition. When the car arrives at other competitors, the pistachios fall down or pour down, and the cyclist goes down to gather them hides his head from other competitors. Then car goes far from other competitors and when their distance is too much of the cyclist asks to get out the car. Hosro is surprised and tells him there is no infirmary here or house. The cyclist insists and thanks them and gets on his bike and goes through the competition road. Professionally he defrauded all. Panoh Panoi, the son of the Iranian well-known director Jafar Panoi, made his debut as a director of this remarkable movie. It was highly acclaimed in the international festivals, particularly selected as the best film in London Film Festival. Panoh Panoi obviously is impressed by the legendary Iranian director Abbas Kiarostami, who was his father's close friend. Either road reminds me of that unforgettable movie Taste of Cherry 1997. Both movies show us a kind of adhesi in which a person, because of reasons we are not informed, wants to leave. In the former, the country, in the latter, the world. Furthermore, both movies use extreme long shots several times. In this movie, when the son, Farid, has to go with the motorbike rider and the family says goodbye to him briefly, the director uses an extreme long shot consisting of natural elements, the sky, clouds, sun, trees, mountain, and also family who's gonna be disintegrated. It's too risky to use a long shot for this emotional scene, but at least for me it was absorbing. Hit the Road is more than a simple debut. If I could ignore some little flaws, I would consider it a masterpiece. While watching, I had different feelings and was able to understand this lovely family, their actions, their words, and their words. One of Khosrow's dialogue is still in my head. Whenever you kill a cockroach, don't throw it in the toilet, because its parents sent him out with lots of hope. This family is somewhat cockroach. They want to pass the borders quietly. They can be easily crushed, and above all, they send their child out with lots of hope. Thanks for watching.